Welcome back everyone. The season is done and dusted. Qualifying final time between Geelong and Richmond. It's a bit weird how this system is set up because it goes qualifying, qualifying, elimination, elimination because that is the order of the top eight. You had Sydney in the four uh, with Geelong in second, the Tigers in Adelaide in third and fourth. I'll just show you here anyway so you can see exactly how it played out. Uh, but Geelong are in winning form. They've won five in a row. We've won four in a row. Heading into the finals. So it is going to make for a really big game. Now, of course, it is a final. We're not going to skip any of these uh, introductory cutscenes because it is uh, big time. This would have probably got a sellout crowd. Not sure why there's not a full grandstand in just about yet. It's long have won the toss. There's not really a breeze favouring any of these sides, but they'll be kicking the punt road end to start us off today. Here we go. Qualifying final time. Nane Curvis out of the middle. And we have seven and a half minute quarters, by the way, in case you were wondering. It's Geelong centred forward and Dylan Grimes does a nice job to cut that out. And he is a long kick at goal. But, I mean, they're just not manning my people. Goes shorter to McIntosh, whose kick is... Offline for one behind, but gee, that was just clinical movement of the football. And it, you'd be concerned early if you are a Geelong fan. That's turned over to Rioli, and he will have a ping. Daniel Rioli for the first. He's kicked it. The double Cobra. This is arguably one of the modern day finals rivalries is Geelong and Richmond. That's holding the ball. Tom Lynch will win himself a free kick. Long way from goal. There's a lot of space in the 50. And Lynch sets it up for Bauer to come through. Couldn't quite. Now Martin gets around and kicks the goal. That is good stuff from Dusty. Inside 50. Cole Jasny might be down there. Interesting strategy. And he plays on straight away. Was it Grian Myers who put through the goal? Handball out of there, and that might hit Cameron inside forward 50, which it does. Apparently Cameron has not played a game all year. And in the final, he misses. Perhaps a bit of rust. Poor old Jeremy. Oh, kick is a turnover. So Jeremy Cameron... This time he makes no mistake and he puts it through. And the Cats are back in this one. So it's 2 1 13 to 2 2 14. As Prestia steals it from the middle, sends a long ball forward. Bauer and Lynch. And Rewalt as well. The Coleman medalist this season with just the 20 something goals puts that through. So the Cats. Decide to go long up the middle. We've played 25 minutes in the opening term. Here's Lynch. Goes short and finds Pickett. Where just any sort of goal advantage you can get is nice. And Pickett puts it through. Points to the sky in celebration. And then has a bit of a run. He's very happy. And that is quarter time. So the Tigers with a 14 point lead. Kick the first two and the last two of the quarter. Geelong had a couple in the middle there. To just try and even the game up. But uh, it's, it's a pretty good game at the moment. Look at that contested footy though. Richmond killing the Cats. Uh, obviously the Cats doing a lot more tackling to try and win back the football. Second term. Ryan got it down. Only as far as Duncan. And the Cats go inside 50 to start off the quarter. It was punched away by the Tigers as Tyler Young... Gets the handball to Prestia. His kick was a bit too short. Hopper puts the tackle pressure on and wins himself a free kick. So the Tigers can get the first opportunity. Really, it's Dusty in a one-on-one. -on -one. Somehow he's been spoiled. He doesn't normally get spoiled, does that man, Dustin Martin. Still no goals here in this second term for either team. The Tigers have been probably the... Slightly better attacking side, but both teams have had their opportunities. As that spills out, Nankervis got it on the boot. 
Didn't go as far as he would have liked. Hopper, though, has somehow missed from the top of the goal square. A few behinds to both teams in this term as Lynch goes over the top to take the mark and we'll line up. Is this our first real opportunity in front of goal this term? Tom Lynch, kick on the way, looks pretty good. Game high, 20 point lead. Gets it anyway, and inside 50, Cameron, he doesn't mark it. And again, Richmond can repel the defense, although that kick is smothered, and it's a ping, and it's a goal for the Cats. So at half time, it's still a 14 point lead. One goal apiece for the term. A few behinds in there as well. One goal, three each in that second term. Um, Tigers got on top in, in the clearances. Geelong had more opportunities than us in that term. 10 to six inside 50s, uh, but one unable to make the most of their opportunities forward. So we resume the second half. It is a 14 point Richmond lead. They'll be hoping to hold that or extend it. The winner of course, booking themselves a position here in the preliminary final. That's a free kick. Short with a high up and under ball. Where's Lynch? Doesn't matter. Because <laughs> Dusty's the one who takes the grab. You can line up 30 at directly in front. And Martin puts it through. Tigers with the first, the second half. Back out to that 20 point lead. Intercepted. Handball was a bit of panic. Ended up with Cameron, I think, who put it through. So Cats hit back again. Just some forward pressure. Squirts away from him. And the Cats get the clearance once more. That's not a handball I was intending to do, as this could be another one. And it is. Bang, bang for Geelong. Margin back to eight. Dangerfield streaming through the middle. Again, another clearance. This time going the way the Cats. Row and run down. Should have been rewarded the Tigers. Inside 50. Here's Cameron at the top of the square. Grimes. Oh, panicked handball abroad. His handball also went a bit panicky. Got it to pick it. Can he win it back? He can't. And this is another goal for the Cats. Can you believe that? It was Gary Rowan. He tackled Pickett, just shoved him out of the way, picked it up and kicked the goal. Lynch punches it away from Dangerfield. Ball squirts away. And Cats go forward here. This is towards close. Baker gets him out the back with a big tackle. There's still an opportunity for Geelong. And they've hit the front. What is going on? Danger field again. Very low key with his celebration. The Tigers fans stunned at the moment. Nane Curvis got his arms free to short. He's tackled as he kicks it, so it squirts away. And the Cats through the middle. Samson Ryan was absolutely buggered. He couldn't do anything. They've still got a man on his 50 on his own. It was Cameron. They didn't hit him. And in the end, it's taken. Just uh, just outside the range here. Still, I feel like they're just more than a kick away from goal. How has that stayed in? Into the pocket, Radigalia. Asava Radigalia to extend Geelong's lead to 10 points. Oh, that's a horrible kick. Red flags going off everywhere in the Richmond coach's box. Ryan getting it down, but Dangerfield with just the one hand. Taking down Jack Graham. Doesn't need any more than that. Another tackle, another ball up. Oh, he's paid a free kick, and he's paid advantage. Okay, bit bizarre, but Richmond, through Hopper, has three bounces, has four, has five, has six, loads up from outside 50. Oh! And Rewald is teleported about 15 metres to take it. Genuine debacle. Jack bends it through. Richmond regain the lead. I'm going to have a look at this mark because this is bizarre. My goodness. He has... If the goal line is nine metres, 
He leaves the turf. He's jumped nine meters. He's he's done a long jumper worth of run jumping then. Not sure that's the correct decision, but uh, okay. And that will be three quarter time. So Richmond by one with a prelim final on the line. Geelong kicked four in a row and the Tigers had the first goal and the last goal of the third term. So Cats go forward. They'll get the first opportunity here in the last quarter. Cameron. He's got it just outside the 50. Gives the handball off to Rowan, who goes inside 50. And that's a ball up, perhaps. Jeez, he's done a lot of the rock work today, Samson Ryan. That spills to Gary Rowan. Got the handball away free. Somehow, Collar Jasney, or was it Atkins? Who puts it through. It's Conway in the ruck. As the Cats take the lead early in the last term. He goes back towards short, but uh, a man over the top is named Curvis. Has short on short. Uses him, and he plays on. Taranto. Not sure how he marked that. He was behind that bloke. Bolton. Handballs to himself. Sends a high footy to the top of the square. Pick it and rewalt at the back. Has kicked it. Richmond back in front. Geelong inside 50. And Cameron again. Goal number three for Jeremy Cameron. He puts it through. Geelong back in front by five. Give me as a shot from there. Oh my goodness. How has that happened? Got out the back all on his own. This to extend the lead. It's 11 points. The Cats can repel. Richmond got to find another way forward here. It's Geelong running in waves. Cameron for a Geelong game high lead of 17. He's kicked it. Going to have to be absolutely clinical from here. Ryan from the middle to Graham. His kick to the goal line. Lynch. It was actually Rewalt. Can't waste any time here, Jack. You've just got to put it in. Put it through. Tigers desperately need this one. He does. Makes no mistake. Next centre clearance vital if the Tigers get it and they can surge forward, which they can. That kick pretty good. Didn't quite reach the man. Here's Pickett from 50. Launches it at goal. It's offline. It's hit the post. Oh, Geelong through O'Connor to Cole Jasny. They go up the middle. Lynch got a fist in. Rioli put it on the shoe. Nate Curvis doesn't reach him. Hopper can't get it out of there. Get another ball up. From the clearance, somehow gets the name Curvis to Bolton. And he's missed. Oh. That could be the game. Oh, that was a dreadful kick as well. And Nan Curvis will have the chance. Geelong, their own worst enemy here. Toby Nan Curvis, the Richmond captains, had 16 possessions today. This for a goal. And to bring it back to three points. As we tick into red time. 20 plus gone. Final term. Geelong by three. The Tigers are coming. From the middle. It's the Cats. O'Connor inside 50. Cameron. This for goal number five for Jezza as well. Kick. Looks okay. And he's got it. Too good. Oh, and there's another one. It's slipped away from us. It has slipped away from us. Blitzarves extends the lead to 15 points. And Geelong are going to win. Lynch handballed and Ankervis. Has he kicked it? No, he's missed. Our inaccuracy has cost us in this game. It really has. Bolton to line up. We feel like it's almost too late. And the kick is offline anyway. Get the handball away. Kick the goal. Kick the goal. <laughs> it's because I don't know how long's left. Like, there could still be time here. Pickett's kicked it. Oh, it's touched. 
It's a 13 point game. The siren sounds. That was a 12 point win in the end for Geelong. Richmond's accuracy killed them. What a second half going the way of the Cats. 10 goals to 5. Although we kicked 5 7 to their 10 3. Bad kicking, bad football. Inaccuracy costing Richmond in this match. It was a fairly even contest, but. Uh, Cameron with five, Rewalt four. And leading ball winners, Holmes, Guthrie, Nankervis, Graham Hopper. That is a dreadful result, if I'm honest. A dreadful result. And Geelong go through to the prelim final. So let's recap the first week of the finals. Geelong and Sydney through to the preliminary finals. The Swans with a big win over the Crows. Uh, the Brisbane Lions, who came from nowhere to make the finals and slide into eighth, beat the Bombers. Essendon still without a finals win since 2001. And Melbourne absolutely brutalised Port Adelaide um, after they dropped all the way to seventh. So... The away teams winning the elimination finals, it'll be the Tigers and Melbourne in the semi-final, and it will be Brisbane and Adelaide in the other semi-final. The winners will play Sydney and Geelong. Let's find out uh, in the next video how it all plays out.